Here we have an Acer laptop that came in for no power. We already disassembled the board. And the board looks something like this. Laptop came in for no power. I asked Big Boss to disassemble the board because I had a reason to believe that we have a problem from back of the board. Initially, he gave me the laptop with just the back cover off. I did an initial inspection, and I figured that we may have a problem on back of the board. I mention in every video, especially when working on Asus laptops, we do not have to take the board out because most Asus laptops, I'm able to figure out the problem from just the surface, or most of them have problems from the surface. But in some cases, we have to remove the board, like this one here. Some viewers ask, we see a lot of Asus laptop repairs. How come you do not do Dell laptop repairs or Acer laptop repairs or Lenovo laptop repairs? And one thing I want to tell the viewers, those viewers, is what planet are you living on? Just log in to YouTube and use your brains. Search Northridge Fix HP or Northridge Fix Dell or Dell Laptop, Northridge Fix. We have, what, over 1,200 videos. Are you kidding me? The laptops I work on in the videos are the stuff that we get in the shop. So the laptop has no power. Before we start the video, I want to give a shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is a China Shenzhen based PCB manufacturer and printed circuit board assembler with more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. They offer a wide variety of services, including 3D printing, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, and much more. PCBWay is committed to meeting all your PCB needs. They offer quality on time delivery and competitive pricing. One to two layer boards starts at $5 with 24 hours turned around. Get an instant quote by visiting PCBWay.com or click on the link below and make sure to check them out. The first thing I want to do is check the DC connector right here. And next to the DC connector, we should have two DC power MOSFETs, whether they are on the left, on the right, on the bottom, somewhere on top, somewhere on top left, top right. Every laptop is different. But for here, for this laptop, we have a big one and we have a small one. I'm interested in the drain of the small one. How do you know? Because I work on laptops every day. What books should I read? None. There are no books that will teach you how to fix an Acer laptop. How do I learn? People ask, how do I become like you? Or how do I do what you do? The only way to learn is to learn from somebody in the business. That's really the only way, unless you want to just spend hours and hours and hours and hours under the microscope trying to figure stuff out. Eventually, you will figure it out. It's going to take time. It's going to take a lot of time. People have been asking us for the past maybe three, four years about training, training, training. When are you going to offer training? We have over, I would say, 22,000 people in our email list waiting on training. Even if we start training, we're not going to be able to train everyone. We're going to have to pick in lottery who attends the class and who does not. Should we do the class in the shop? Should we do the class online, on Zoom? Most people are international. A lot of people suggested that maybe we can pre-record the course and we can sell it. How do you protect a pre-recorded course from going out on the internet? So stuff like that we have to think about. So we're going to measure the MOSFET, the drain, and we have a short circuit. I tested this prior to recording the video and that's why we removed the motherboard because I wanted to see where that short is coming from. So we have a short circuit as you can see here. What do we do when we have a short circuit on the DC, on the drain of the DC power MOSFET? We're going to inject voltage and we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot on the board. Every laptop is the same. We do this on Asus laptops, we do this on Lenovo laptops, we do this on Robocop laptops, every laptop in the market. Voltage injection tool on. I have it currently set at 1.5 volts. And we're going to inject voltage right here. And we're going to monitor the board under a thermal camera and see what gets hot. See? Right there. We see something hot right here. 
but heat is not coming from this side of the board and that's why i asked big boss to remove the board so we can look on back of the board and see what is getting hot the component in question or the heat in question is not coming from this side of the board so we're gonna have to flip the board same area i'm gonna point my finger at the board so heat is coming from here and what i'm interested in is the same area on back of the board let's look under the microscope and look at what i found nothing too obvious but few things ring a bell we have a lot of burnt flux here from excessive heat that's factory flux because of so much heat in this area or because of a short circuit in this area we see burnt factory flux you can tell i was probing around before i started the video but i did not do anything or i did not discover where the short is coming from yet and that's why i said let me record the video and see if we can figure it out together now one thing that stands out is a discoloration in this capacitor this one looks different right i do not know if that means anything or if that capacitor is in fact or indeed shorted if we measure in diode mode we have a dead short a zero ohm short if we measure in ohms mode we should be reading about 4.7 ohms on this resistor and my meter is showing 4.8 ohms that's perfect so we know the resistor is good and it looks like an inductor here zero ohms so that's good those two components are good maybe we can start with the cap we can remove it and see what happens Maybe we can solve the whole no power issue by just removing one cap. All right, let's put that cap on the side. And I think I can already see that the cap is blown. That cap does not want to let go. What I do in that case is I dip my tweezers in alcohol. And now I'm able to rotate that cap without that cap sticking. See, I see something here. I mean, it doesn't matter what I see. Let's measure it. I need to put the meter in diode mode. You see? The cap is shorting to itself. The cap is shorted. Now, if we measure in diode mode, if we measure the pads of that cap, are we going to get a short circuit? We no longer have a short circuit. So that's the bad guy. Look at that bad guy. Should we send them to jail? Or send them to Mars? one way up ninth dimension we got it what is the value of that cap that's a good question we can desolder this one we can measure it and see how much it reads and then grab a similar cap let's do it So I'm going to measure using my LCR meter. And I'm reading 104 nanofarads. So 100 nanofarads. Of course, with like a 10 or 20% plus or minus, it doesn't matter. Those two capacitors are connecting in parallel. So this is connecting with this. This is connecting with this.
and now we need to grab another cap. 100 nanofarads, and this one is likely size 402 or 603. If I am to guess, I would say size 603. Let me grab the 603 book. Right, so I grabbed the 603 size capacitors book. And if you are in the same type of business or you are doing this as a hobby, you can purchase all those books from our site. We have 10 different books, size 201, 402, 603, 805, 1206, for resistors and capacitors. Every value you can think of. So if we look here, I opened the book to 100 nanofarads, and I just want to compare the size to see if 603 is the one that we are looking for. And perfect. Look at this right there and it looks like I used a similar cap before I do not know for what but one of them is missing right and we're all good what about that bridge? What about it? How come? How come what? What if? What if what? We're done. Now we're gonna go back to front of the board. And we're going to measure the drain on that MOSFET to see if we still have a short circuit. We should not. Because if we still do, then that would be black magic. And we are reading 0 0.4 voltage drop. Amazing. I'm going to hand the board over to Big Boss to resemble and test, and I'll be back to finish the video. All right, Big Boss reassembled the laptop and he just called me. How are we doing? Beautiful. We are doing awesome, amazing, like every day. Thank you, Big Boss. Welcome. Boss of all bosses. Every time Big Boss touches something, it has to work, 100%. We are done, I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think, leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video.